Chapter 3. Radio Frequency Components and Measurement. For radio frequency measurement, it's just a theory. No calculation involved. In this chapter you will learn about the following. Start with three basic requirements for communication. The first one is, two or more devices want to communicate. Second is make sure there are a medium or method for them to communicate, and the last one, set of rules for them to use. Try to remember all these three basic requirements. Next. Radio frequency components figure. There are transmitter, receiver, antenna, EIRP, and IR. I will briefly explain for each components. Transmitter is the initial component in the creation of the wireless media. Where transmitter will generate signal at specific frequency, and also convert the data into signal. Receiver. Receiver will receive the signal from the antenna, and transmit the signal into data. Data consists of ones and zeros. It's a computer language. This is example of transmitter and receiver chips. Next component is, antenna. Antenna provide two function in a communication system. The first one when connected to the transmitter. Antenna will collect signal that it receives from the transmitter and radiates the waves away. And second one connected to the receiver. Antenna will take the waves that it receives through the air, and directs the signal to the receiver. In order to increase power from antenna, there are two ways. The first one is generate more power at transmitter, and the second one is direct or focus the radio frequency signal that is radiating from antenna. Next component is intentional radiator, or IR. IR is specifically designed to generate radio frequency where IR consists of all component from transmitter to antenna such as transmitter, amplifier and cable, excluding antenna. It means that IR is the entire radio frequency system except for the antenna. IR will be measured in many watts. The example of IR devices are cordless phone, walkie-talkie and wireless card. And the last component is, equivalent isotopically radiated power, or EIRP. EIRP is the highest RF signal strength transmitted from antenna. Another definition is a measure of the amount of actual power emitted from an antenna. The relationship between IR and EIRP. EIRP focuses the RF generated by IR makes it stronger. For radio frequency measurement, you just need to know units of power and units of comparison. Under Units of power, there are watt and milliwatt. One watt equal to one ampere of current flowing at one volt. Mainly what is one over one thousand off a watt. For units of comparison there are, decibel, decibels isotropic, and decibels dipole. Decibel represents difference between two values. 
decibels isotropic or dBi, gain or increase of power from an antenna when compared to what isotropic radiator would generate. For decibels dipole or dBd, increase and in gain of an antenna when it is compared to the signal of a dipole antenna. Example, if antenna has value of 3 dBd, it is 3 dB greater than a dipole antenna. This is Chapter 3 Summary. Looking back what you have learned. End of chapter. Thank you for watching and listening.